After three days of freezing ice storms that knocked out power from the Canadian border to mid-Essex County, the first signs of relief could be seen today. 1,500 New York National Guard members joined city and county work crews to help clean up streets and highways. New York Governor George Pataki talked about the assistance he summoned while touring the northern tier. We have more than 300 uh, Office of Mental Health people coming here to work with people in the shelters and with the emergency support team. Generators from across the state have been brought in. Uh, there are almost a thousand crews now in the process of restoring electric power, uh, and the response is simply going to build. Uh, yesterday we made a request to the federal government not just to declare a disaster area, but we sent a specific list of equipment we were help, uh, requesting from them. When placed in a refrigerator, this 400 degree below zero ice block can keep food from spoiling. Other New Yorkers were left scrambling for basics like drinking water. Why can't you pump it from the well, and why are you here? The old well, and it's, it's like a pump, and there ain't no way you can get at it unless, we get, unless you get a generator to pump it. And some with generators were able to charge a premium due to the demand. A $650 generator today sold for a thousand in cash. What kind of deal did you get? Uh, not a very good one. The strain of firefighters and emergency service personnel has been great. Over 1,000 calls came into the Clinton County 911 office on Friday. The deep freeze led President Clinton today to declare Clinton County a federal disaster area. That will bring federal money here for the long cleanup work ahead. Although there are over 200 crews working around the clock to restore power, officials say that it could be well into next week before full services are restored to everyone. Jack LeDuc, Channel 3 News in Clinton County.